Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can see your values in Photoshop. Without going too much into it, values are very important when it comes to seeing lights and darks and even working with colour, because every colour I've got on screen will have a different value to it. So a really quick way to see the value of it is to create a new layer in the bottom right corner. On that layer, we're just going to fill it with black, so I'm going to select black as a colour and I'm going to press Alt and Backspace as a shortcut to fill that. From there we can change the layer mode from Normal to Colour. By doing that you can now see the values, how light and dark each of these colours I had on screen was. And of course we can hide that and show it. So that's a really effective way to do it. But once you have lots of layers, let's say it's a complicated painting, it gets to be a bit of a pain having to find that layer to switch it on and off each time. So up here you can see I'm working in RGB colour mode. If I was to press Ctrl and Y at the moment, it changes it to CMYK. This is for printing, you might have noticed that the colours on screen changed a little bit. So we need to just change this from CMYK to a black and white mode. So we're going to come up here, we're going to select View, and you'll see working CMYK is ticked, or you might have something else ticked. We're going to select Custom, and from this drop down, we're going to select working grey dot gain 20% hit OK and you can see that has the same effect so if I press Control and Y on my keyboard it goes back to RGB and if I press it again it switches this black and white mode back on so there you have it a really easy way to see your values quickly in Photoshop it takes less than a minute to set up and once you've done it it couldn't be quicker to toggle through the modes so I hope you guys found this useful if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what other videos you want to see next. And of course, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching everyone.